Thanks for that helpful. Good evening. Thank you for attending. This is the first official meeting of our Public Facilities, Arts, and Culture Committee. It is Tuesday, October 6th. It is 5.26 p.m. I have in attendance myself, uh, got Councilman Hager, Councilmember Henderson, Councilmember Nash, Councilmember Taylor, and Councilmember Van Reese. First of all, I hope everybody got a copy of the letter I sent out. Um, if there's anyone who's interested in the vice chair position, please um, notify the council office by end of business on Friday, and um, I will make the choice then. Moving on, we've got the election of three um, members to the Greenway Open Space Commission. Uh, anyone would like to nominate themselves or someone at the committee? Nominate uh, Ms. Henderson. That's very kind, um, but I think I might um, withdraw. Well, I mean, at the will of the body here and who else wants to serve, but I am running for Traffic and Parking Commission, and that's already a commitment, so I would like to have other colleagues have the opportunity. If no one else steps up, I'm, I'm happy to serve, and I appreciate the nomination. Okay. You wanted to last night. Sure. Huh? Yeah, I uh, accept the nomination. Yeah. Yeah. I'm nominating Jeff Syracuse. Yeah. <laughs> Councilman Syracuse, I know, rides his bike on the Greenway, so. He'd be a perfect choice for it. And I would nominate uh, Councilmember Brandon Taylor. I'll accept it. All right. <laughs> So all those in favor of Councilmember Van Rees, Syracuse, and Taylor for being our representatives on the Greenway Open Space Commission, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, it was carried by all. All right, we will move on to resolutions. We have RS 2021-1166 by O'Connell Parker Allen et al. Accept a donation from the Congress group in the amount of $2.5 million as a contribution to the Barnes Housing Trust Fund and approving a donation from the Congress group in the amount of half a million to a to be formed nonprofit entity for the benefit of Wharf Park. So moved. So moved. Second. All right. Is there anyone here that can kind of just talk about that for a little bit? Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess that would be my question. Who is the Congress group and what is their relation? And I mean, we're very appreciative, but can you, maybe Mr. Nage can explain that relationship or donation, please, Chair? Is it, are you, you referring to the, the, the housing donation or the Wharf Park donation? I guess the, the park specific donation, please, and just what, how the Congress group, um, who they are. Well, I can tell you what I know, which is not a lot. Um, as it says that it would be a to be formed organization and uh, a nonprofit rather, and any uh, agreement related to a rowing club or boathouse at Wharf Park um, would have to come to the park board and to council for approval. So there's no such, there is no such existing um, agreement between Metro and um, this to be Janita, I don't know if you have any additional information. I guess that was my question, Janita, in that it, it, it seems somewhat awkward in that we're accepting a grant for an as of yet unformed nonprofit. Um, I mean, we are grateful for all our friends groups in our, in our park system, but I think it kind of sets an awkward precedent, right? I mean, they, we always work with our friends groups, but our friends groups are separate nonprofits from our park system. And so I just wonder, I don't know if staff or legal can speak to, it, this just seems an unusual construct, respectfully. Yeah, I, I had requested some additional information from legal prior to this meeting. Um, and um, the information that I had was, was essentially what I, what I said. Ultimately, 
had a, any agreement with the company before our board and council. Um, I would like to make a motion to defer one meeting. Second. Okay. To defer one meeting? One meeting defer. With, with the request um, for additional information as it re regards to the $5 million as it relates to the wharf park, because that is that does seem kind of weird. And just one, one more question before we move on. Where is this wharf park? Um, wharf park is uh, east of and below Rolling Mill Hill on the Cumberland River. So it's between Rolling Mill Hill and the interstate loop. We own about 11 acres in that location, and we're in the very early stages of master planning it currently. Okay. Is that down by the, is it behind General Hospital or on up from there? Uh, it's away from downtown from Old General Hospital. Okay, so it's back there behind the old building. Do you know where the school, that truck. state school for the blind property yeah, is? Yeah, it's below yeah. that. So it's that down there, it's back underneath that railroad trestle down there on the river? Uh, yeah, there's from, from the from the state-owned school for the blind property, there is a, first it drops down to a quarry site, which is part of Wharf Park, and then it drops down to the floodplain, okay. which is also part of Wharf right. Park. And then there's Silliman Evans Bridge. We don't own that building, though, the, the blind school building we yet? We do not. Huh? We do not. We do not. Okay. Does, does, does this interrupt at all the two and a half million to the Barnes Fund? Does that mess? You, there's nobody here. Yeah, I mean, I guess that was my concern. If, if it were me, I wouldn't have written and put these two together. things together. I think I would have moved the Barnes as <coughs> established entity and done that separately through affordable housing and their committee and review and then made this separate, respectfully, but I, I don't know. I would I would tend to think that the way the, the, the Barnes fund, the, bar, the Barnes fund utilizes money, that this isn't gonna put any of their operations in jeopardy. Yeah, for a couple weeks. Yeah. Long term planning, I don't, been wrong before. Well, is anybody here a sponsor? I mean, nobody in here is. Right. Are these just people are sponsored? I think it's Perfect. Chair Parker Chair. is affordable housing. O'Connell yeah. is in his district. Council Lake Allen, budget finance. Yeah. Chair Bradford, yourself. And I don't know about the other folks who have Swing. signed Swing. on here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would just. So the motion on the floor is to defer one meeting. It's been motioned and seconded. So sure. go ahead and all those in favor of the one meeting deferral say aye. 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 Any opposed? We'd like to know a little bit more about the condo shoot. Obviously, they're great gun factors to prop up this kind of money. But we'd like to have a little bit more insight into that. I think this is a part of the negotiations for development. Okay. Oh. Moving yeah, on. Probably not. Okay. Moving on to RS 2021 1169, Allen Bradford Styles. Authorizes Fairgrounds Nashville and Municipal Auditorium to accept community development block grant funds from the Metropolitan Department of Housing Agency. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay. Um, Any discussion? All the discussion and debate in budget and finance yeah, yesterday. So um, I, I don't have any additional questions having already watched that. So. Okay. We have a letter to approve from Councilmember Allen. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> all right. Next, RS 2021-1170, O'Connell Allen Bradford Styles accepts the terms of a cooperative purchasing master agreement for portable automatic seating risers for the National Municipal Auditorium. Do I have a motion? Mm -hmm. Second. Okay. And any discussion? Okay. My question is just, is this for the floor area then? Because mm -hmm. there's already seating elsewhere mm -hmm. in the... Okay, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> he would spoken on behalf of Park. She was Fairgrounds. I knew she was art, so I thought I apologize. I thought you must be with representing this It's my understanding that it, to be able to move chairs in and out on the floor. The flexibility yeah. for the floor space. Okay. All right. So go ahead. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Moving on. RS 2021-1177, Allen 
Alan Bradford Styles and Tunes accepts a promotion of the arts grant from the National Endowment for the Arts to the Metro National Arts Commission to support a permanent public art lighting installation and an artist residency program in North Nashville. Can I get a motion? Mm -hmm. Second. Any discussion? I would just love to hear from Director Vincent and staff of what this is all about, just briefly. Yes, and this is my colleague, Trey Harden. He's working on the project. Um, so we received this grant from the NEA. It's the Our Town program, which is typically like a placemaking program that requires a government partner as well as a nonprofit partner in the community or um, other arts organization. So we're working with Lead Artists in Unvoid, Project Return, who serves you know, folks returning from incarceration. So we'll do a lot of community engagement, which is what most of the money will go to pay artists and other community members. And then we will match the grant with funding from the Percent for Art Fund. And the community is hoping we can put some sort of lighting installation underneath the Arthur Avenue Bridge, just because it hasn't, there is no lighting, it's very dark, it's a very large, expansive space, and it hasn't really been maintained. So that's the idea. And then, um, may I ask you, just in by way of follow-up. So um, the amount from NEA is what, and what do we have to match? 75,000 is the amount from the NEA, and then we have to match one you know, dollar for dollar. Um, okay. 75 is the minimum, but we'll probably do more just because of lighting, public artwork, permanent outdoors. We'll probably be more in the 250,000 to $300,000 range, I'm, I'm thinking. Okay, and then so it's community engagement, <coughs> potential community involved design, but at what juncture are you partnering with a artist who specializes in light oriented artwork and what is that in? Sure, so there'll be the community engagement like band then we'll also develop a call to artists with the community and okay. the lead artist and Trey has done a project similar at Coffee where we actually had community advise on what was in the call to artist and okay. sort of how that was written. Okay. So that'll happen sort of parallel in the next year-ish, and then we will um, release the call to artists while we're still doing, you know, some of the other temporary work and engagement. Okay, I appreciate understanding that. Thank you. So my question is: Have you all uh, worked with the North North artist, uh, and will you be working with them in, on this project? We do. We have worked with them in the past, and we have talked about working with them on this project because um, there's a couple of temporary public art. You know, residencies and or artwork that will come of that, so we would likely be doing some type of work with and, the muralists. And there are several murals in the North Nashville community that are amazing. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know if you were planning on installing any lighting uh, with those existing artists or not, uh, just to highlight it, because I think that especially those under the uh, railroad mm -hmm. um, and, and then one on um, uh, Herman mm -hmm. Street of uh, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, amazing. Okay, and, yeah, that's uh, a good idea. Didn't know if you all were considering those mm -hmm. as part. And then, of course, there's, of course, the one on Jefferson Street at the Elks Lounge mm -hmm. with uh, Jimi Hendrix and Johnny Jones that I think would also... Uh, be great and, and, and could use the same type of light. Okay. Purple haze. Hmm. <laughs> Purple haze. <man. laughs> Purple haze. Oh yeah. I would say, uh, Councilman Hart, this is this is going to be a, a partnership with both the city and T. Dot in regards to this area. Um, T. Dot uh, is responsible for managing the lighting, the maintenance of this underpass. It's an I forty. Um, so TDOT should be um, also following up in this conversation as well. I know you guys are working on that. Um, but uh, for the lighting, uh, it's just for context, uh, it's a uh, council member Kyle and I, this is our line actually, we share this space. Um, and for context, it's very dark um, as we continue to have more walkability. Um, North Nashville um, probably has the most pedestrians uh, that walk uh, through their community um, uh, to get to where they're going. It has sidewalks, more walkability, accessibility. And so um, in this process, uh, we, we're trying to work with Tennessee Department of Transportation to, um, to one, 
have a much more beautification as people walk in and out of this uh, area. And then two, to light it. Um, and three, maintain it because uh, the, if it, like today, I'm sure when I drove through it on my way here, um, it was just a mess because of the rain and the, and the, the maintenance that just not ha that just has not ha occurred in this part of town. And so uh, that, is, that is a huge part of this opportunity for us to add beautification, maintain roadways and highways that we have, and then to have safe, safe and walkable passages for our constituents. Any other conversation on this one? All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Last on the agenda, we've got Bill on second reading, EL 2021-915, Tombs, Van Reeds, Water, and Porterfield. Approves an agreement between the Metro Department of Parks and Recreation and Memphis Basketball LLC to allow parks to participate in a youth basketball program operated by Memphis Basketball LLC. Can I get a motion? So moved. Second. What is Memphis Basketball LLC? It's the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies. Okay. So this is um, something that they do quite a few years in a row. Yeah, we've done that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 14, did you say? 14. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good program. <laughs> Until we have our own NBA or WNBA team, we will have you to take money from the I just want a WNBA Memphis. team. That's yeah. what I I want. I want a WNBA team. I'm fine with that. <laughs> and I have an update on that before we close. All right. So, any further discussion on 2021-915? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Council Member Van Reese, you said you had a Yeah, forward. just um, quickly, tomorrow morning I'll be attending um, the uh, committee on, from the Sports Authority to bring professional women's sports to Nashville. I've been on that committee for about a year. I basically just do whatever Margaret Ben tells me to do. Um, <laughs> but... Um, the Sports Authority has engaged a CAA ICON uh, for community outreach in regard to hearing from the community about what type of women's professional sports would be most successful in the area. Um, we've already we've already kind of looked at, you know, softball, tennis, soccer, basketball. The WNBA has uh, announced, for the most part, announced uh, that there will be four additional franchises coming up, and uh, there'll be some conversations that we have with this new consultant to find out um, what the right things that are happening uh, in the San Francisco area, who's been very active at getting one of those franchises. So um, I'm just kind of letting you guys know that I'm a part of that conversation and um, it'll be ongoing as we look for the right thing. You know, there'll be a lot of community input as soon as they put together those packages to let folks know. And it'll be a, a regional conversation. Um, uh, I was this morning at the uh, uh, Sports Council's tip-off breakfast uh, with uh, women's basketball coaches from Vanderbilt, Belmont, Austin P, uh, TSU, uh, Belmont, all of them, and Lipscomb. Lipscomb, thank you, I knew I forgot one. Um, and the excitement right now of, of uh, women's sports in Tennessee could not be uh, better. Uh, so. If you know anybody who wants to own a team, then make sure and tell Margaret Bell. Um, but that's uh, an update uh, as to what's going on. This committee now kind of merging with uh, auditoriums and entertainment and public facilities. Uh, just kind of wanted to give you an update on that. Well, I appreciate that. I look yeah. forward to future updates from you on that one. Someone played the musical auditorium. That'd be a great that's day for I'm, the team. Uh oh. I'll tell you that. Oh, I think we're thinking purple haze at this point. <laughs> Before we're dismissed, just remind everybody if you're interested in the vice chair position, just email council uh, office by Friday and I'll make the announcement on Monday. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>